Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. We have got an interesting topic for this video, which is Bitcoin's monetary policy. Just like central bank of the government has their own monetary policy, being a kind of financial system itself, Bitcoin also has its own monetary policy. So let's have a look. Bitcoin's monetary policy consists of mainly two parts. First one is the halving and second one is block frequency. Now let's see about the halving, what it is all about. This halving principle states that the number of Bitcoin released per block into the system is half once 210,000 blocks are mined. This is equivalent to around 4 years, so you can say that every 4 years the number of Bitcoin released per block is half. As you can see in this table, in 2009 it was 50 Bitcoin per block. Then in 2012 it became 25 Bitcoin per block. After that 12.5 Bitcoin per block in 2016 then 6.25 Bitcoin per block in 2020. So currently it is 6.25 Bitcoin per block. And in 2024, it will be 3.125 Bitcoin per block. It is predicted to be around May 23rd of 2024. The important thing to note here is, the monetary policy of Bitcoin is entirely controlled by its software or the algorithm. Nobody can say, okay, we are releasing this amount of Bitcoin per block in this year or something like that. It is all pre-programmed in the software and nobody can do anything. We will talk more about this in mining difficulties. So this is all about the halving principle. Now lots of people are wondering if the number of Bitcoin releases per block is half every 4 years or after 210,000 block, then at one point the Bitcoin release will be none or negligible. So people won't get any Bitcoin for adding block, then why would people mine the blocks? So if you look at this graph. It is true that the number of Bitcoin release decreases with time and there is only certain limit of Bitcoin that can be released, which is 21 million Bitcoin and it is estimated by the year 2140. So we have limited Bitcoin. But there if you remember, miners get mining reward plus transaction fee. So as time passes, the transaction fee also increases. And so it will compensate the block mining reward and overall the miners will receive good amount of reward for mining block. Even though they are getting low block reward, they will receive high transaction fee. Now let's talk about the second principle that is block frequency. It states how often the blocks are added to the blockchain. Well, depending on the cryptocurrency, it is different. For Bitcoin, it is 10 minutes on average. So on every 10 minutes, a new block is added to the chain. Then it's 3.5 seconds for Ripple and 2.5 minutes for Litecoin. So block frequency depends on the design of the system. Now let's look at an example. For that we are using this website, blockchain.com slash explorer. This is a cool website, I highly recommend to visit here and explore thing. There are lots of things to explore here. Uh, since we are only talking about Bitcoin, uh, let's go to the Bitcoin. There are other things too, Ethereum, Binance, Solana, Cardona. Okay, here we got the Bitcoin page. Uh, we can see the price history. We have the blockchain. Uh, this is the latest blog, I guess. Then we have market info and other things too. Uh, you can come here and explore a new one. Okay, Genesis blog date was 2009, January 3rd. Okay, then we have the beef history, uh, Bitcoin in practice. Uh, then we have what is this RI, then latest transaction. Okay, so these are the transaction. Uh, then we have the latest blog. We will come in a while. Then we have the converter, USD to BTC, mempool, average conversion time, and other thing. Okay, visit here and explore another one. We will look at the blocks. Okay, so this is the latest block, uh, 756,001. It was mined 17 minutes and 7 seconds ago. Uh, you can also see other information about this block. Transition count uh, this much, nonce is this much size total chain total fees okay let's see what we can get more about this block okay so okay there are tons of information of this block uh, okay 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 we can also uh, look at the transaction inside this block the hash value depth capacity uh, okay lots of things lots of things okay Okay, this is a cool website. I recommend to visit here and explore on your one. So I guess this is all about this video. 
आई होप यू लाइक इट आई विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो